What is up guys? It is CRPHD. This is not the video. This is just a short notice. Um, I'm currently testing new video editing software. So if the video quality isn't as what you used to, just know why. But I will continue to improve and let's get on to the video. What is up guys? It's CRPHD back with another video. And this video is over. Well, y'all probably already saw the title. This is the Fujifilm Fine Pix 1800. Now, Fujifilm has a whole bunch of camera lines that are just like these, but the one that I have is the S1800, I believe. And the reason that they call it the 1800 is mainly because it has a 18 times optical zoom. So, if you guys don't know, that's really far. And since it's an optical zoom, it really doesn't lose no um, sharpness. It, the, start, the sharpness stays there as long as you press the focus button. It's a point and shoot camera, so can't really expect DSLR quality out of it, but it does work perfectly fine. Okay, so now let's look at the camera. Okay, so this Fujifilm camera has a three inch LCD display. Now, I'm not sure about how the pixels of this specific LCD, but it does look pretty sharp. Um, not as sharp as maybe when you pull it up on a TV once you take out the SD card, but it does look pretty sharp for the camera itself. That's a pretty average size. Um, even most DSLR cameras have a three inch LCD display. So yeah, that's really good. And Fujifilm even included the viewfinder, the electronic viewfinder. They fitted a almost DSLR like style grip. Everything about it pretty much looks like a DSLR, just more compact. And I would not be afraid to throw this in my backpack. Um, but yeah, guys, so now let's just go over to a little video test over the Fujifilm camera so y'all can see how it is for y'all self. Okay, guys, so this is the Fujifilm S1800 camera. Um, the audio is not as well as I would like it to be, but it is a point-and-shoot camera. It's not a DSLR, so I don't expect too much out of it. All I expect is it to get the job done. And now it shoots a 720p video, which is not exactly YouTube standards. Um, more like 1080p, um, 1440. That's more. That's the more common video resolutions that you see, but it does get the job done if you need a point and shoot camera, and it takes amazing photos too as well. It has 18 times optical image stabilization, and wait, did I say that? No, it has 18 times optical zoom as well as built-in image stabilization, and back to the video. Okay, so now that we're back with the Fujifilm camera, that was the test. Now, like I said before in the little test film video thing that I just shot, it only shoots a 720p at 30 frames per second. So I cannot, if you're one of those people that just, HD is everything, well, this camera probably isn't for you. You can find maybe um, camcorders that shoot a t full 1080p. But me, I was looking for a point and shoot camera because where this thing really shines is um the photos now the videos is good and i will definitely be using it for videos maybe on the go but it shines in the photos that is what i'm most proud of with this camera and they're really sharp actually um don't know the full resolution specs but i will make that in maybe a part two video so stay tuned for that but this is just a quick look of the fuji film s1800 if it's not 1800 then it's the s 1,800, but either way, I'll make sure to get it correct whenever I put in the title for this little video, and it's been CRPHD Unboxings, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.